In the previous clipping, we learnt about the Himalayan rivers. Now let us learn about the peninsular rivers. The peninsular rivers are the rivers which are fed by the rainfall. So, they generally do not flow throughout the year. There are five peninsular rivers about which we have to learn and the first one is the Narmada river. The length of this river is 1290 kilometers and the origin place is Amarkantak and the catchment area is Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. The feature of this river is that it gives in certain picturesque location, especially talking of the Dodhar fall where the river plunges on the steep rock and it looks beautiful to watch it. The second is the Tapi river, the length of which is 1300 and the place of origin is the Satpura range. The catchment area is Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Maharashtra. As this is a coastal river, therefore the special feature is that the coastal rivers are generally very short and so is this. Next is the Mahanadi river. Mahanadi river, the length is 860 originates at the highlands of Chhattisgarh and the catchment area is Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. It flows from Orissa and falls into the Bay of Bengal. Next we talk of the Krishna river. The Krishna river is 1400 square kilometers and it originates on the springs of Mahabaleshwar and the catchment area is the Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. It falls into the Bay of Bengal again and the next one is the Kaveri river. The Kaveri river, the length is 760 kilometers and the place of origin is the Brahmagiri range. The catchment area is Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu and the feature is that it has certain very important tributaries like the Amravati and the Bhavani. So, after the Himalayan uh, rivers, we have seen about the peninsular rivers which are the rain fed rivers. They are five in number, Narmada, Tapi, Mahanadi, Krishna, Kaveri. Remember the length of them and the biggest among them is the Tapi and the smallest is of course the Kaveri river. I talk about the various other water bodies in the next clipping.